Welcome to This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace. Each week we highlight your favorite social media comments and the top science stories of the week. Let's get started. This week on Facebook, some great comments were posted on top 10 robot talents. Who doesn't love a good robot story? We asked you what you wanted a robot to do, and you said everything from dusting the house to explaining females. That would be an advanced robot. Of all the robots that we showed, my favorite is the Robonaut. He is a robot astronaut. You can follow him on Twitter at Astro Robonaut. My favorite comment was by Rick. He wanted a robot to clean up after his rumba. Now, Rick, I know what you meant. You meant Roomba, but then I pictured you doing the rumba. My favorite story on Facebook this week was first four exoplanets of 2012 discovered. The Kepler Space Telescope was launched in order to find exoplanets, and so far, according to our space producer, Ian O'Neill, they've found over 2,000 candidates. You can't mention exoplanets this week without mentioning that the Milky Way is crammed with over 100 billion alien worlds. I think the Mythbusters fans tweeted it best. That's some candy bar. Some of those alien worlds might be tuned into this right now. Aliens watching right now. Here are the movies not to watch. Alien, let's see. Aliens, Independence Day, definitely not Independence Day. That third alien movie, do not watch District 9. Watch Cars. It has nothing to do with aliens, it's just a good movie. <laughs> Talking Cars. <laughs> Crazy. Which brings us to this week in Twitter where one of my favorite topics was Tomorrow is Friday. Today is Friday the 13th, which was a superstitious day before 80s Hollywood producers decided to make you afraid of hockey. Hockey masks, both. Friday the 13th can happen as many as three times in a calendar year, and fear of Friday the 13th is Frigga Desca Trichophobia. Prisca Decaphobia. Trixa. Frigga. Frigga. Frigga Triska Decaphobia, which is fear of Friday the 13th, is not the weirdest phobia I've ever heard of. Thasophobia, fear of sitting. Walloonphobia, fear of the Walloon people of Belgium. Proctophobia, fear of rectums. Frerama. Frenemophobia, fear of thinking. What if you had both thasophobia and stazabazophobia? Then you would be afraid of sitting and standing. There's also a phobophobia, which is a fear of phobias. This week on Discovery News, the biggest story was CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. Discovery News and every tech and gadgeteer on Earth, bloggers and tech writers, all descend onto Las Vegas, where they look at the newest technology, the biggest TVs, the coolest stuff for a whole week. This year, we really didn't get to see the next big thing, but I did have some favorites. Incorporating technology from air conditioning units, washing machines, and jet engines, of course, scientists at LG, for the betterment of mankind, have found a way to make your beer cold really fast. Also at CES this year was a Swiss Army knife, a one terabyte Swiss Army knife, in fact. So you've got tweezers, scissors, toothpick, knife. One terabyte thumb drive full of 30 Rock. In addition to Swiss Army knives and beer coolers, they also have giant televisions. That was a big part of CES this year, and they have 4K and 8K televisions, which means that they are four times or 16 times the resolution of what we now know as HD, and they're thinner than a pen. Look how thin this is! It's crazy talk. That's it for me this week. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, you're following us on Twitter, and that you subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter at Discovery News. Com. Thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and I will see you next week. No, it's a Swiss Army knife with a one terabyte drive on it, so you could put all the episodes of Lost on there in high definition, and then the Lost characters could have watched it, and then they would never have had to go in, into the hatch. Wait, that's not right.